Hey guys, it's Aaron at Rich and Sons. Uh, first of all, I just want to congratulate you guys on your new Springdale Mini. Um, I'm going to show you some components on the outside as well as the inside. So if you're out camping, have some questions, you can revert back to this video. It's going to help you guys out. Follow me. Alright guys, on your uh, Springdale Mini, it's going to be 30 amp. Uh, the nice thing is, is you have a pull-out cord here. It's going to be about 25 feet. Um, you can plug that in right to your shore power at your, uh, at your campsite. Uh, we do have this adapted down into 110 to just plug into a regular outlet, so you have that possibility as well. All right, on the front side of this camper, we've got a 20 pound propane bottle. Um, suit, simple, easy turn, turn lefty, loosey righty, tidy to turn it uh, open and close. Uh, it does have a regulator here as well uh, to help regulate that pressure throughout your camper. The nice thing is with this being a 20 pound bottle, uh, you can get it filled easily at your uh, gas stations as well as to getting that exchange there, uh, getting that exchange is a possibility too. Okay guys, uh, on all four corners, you're gonna have these stabilizer jacks. Um, this comes with your camper, so all you have to do is just hook this up. You can uh, spin it up and down. Very easy to do. Just takes you a few minutes. Now, when you do get it to the bottom, just get it tight. Now, these are stabilizer jacks, um, not leveling jacks. So, um, common thing people do is they'll put too much pressure on these, and they can actually bend the bolt in there. Um, then you're going to be getting them replaced, things like that. So, like I said, just lower them enough to get them snug and tight. It's going to help stabilize that. Uh, your camper, like I said, it is on all four sides of this camper as well. All right, now we're gonna talk about the, the, the water connections. Um, you're gonna have a fresh water connection and a city water connection. Fresh water connection is gonna be um, when you get to the campsite and you gotta fill it before you get to your actual spot, um, you're gonna put it in this one. Um, if you get to a campsite, and some campsites have water hookups directly at your spot, um, you can run it off of here. But before you do that, come back here, you're gonna have an anode rod. Um, this is going to be so the water, instead of it uh, eating the inside of your water heater, it's going to eat the, this rod. So you're going to put it in here, tighten it down, um, and, then, and then go ahead and start filling your water from there. This is all going to have a pressure release valve on it as well, and if you need to reset it for any reason, it has that capability too. Okay, now for the battery on this camper, it's going to come with a 12 volt deep cycle battery, a brand new one. We're in our showroom right now, so it doesn't come with the cover, uh, but it will come with a cover um, for, uh, to protect from the elements, things like that. Um, so you're going to, like I said, lo uh, find your battery located up on the front by your propane tank. All right, now we're going to be looking at the uh, low point drain lines as well as the fresh water drain. Uh, your low point drain lines are going to be right here towards the back of the camper. You're going to have caps on them. Um, red, obviously, for hot, blue for cold. Um, when you get home and you're done camping, make sure that you drain those as well as drain your water heater because any residual water that will be in the lines, um, it's going to sit there. If you don't use your camper for a few weeks, you're going to get a bad smell to it. Um, your fresh water drain is also going to be right here. Um, it's not the biggest drain in the world, so it's going to take some time for that that water, uh, that fresh water tank to drain. Um, and since we're back here too, your gray and your black valves are all going to be right here. So all of your drains are, are pretty much in the same area. It makes it very convenient and easy for you to drain. Another safety feature on all these campers that you're going to buy is going to be a breakaway cable. Um, you're going to hook this up, uh, secure it to your truck. If anything should happen and the trailer breaks away from the truck, this, this uh, cord is going to pull out of this box right here. It's going to lock up your brakes. Um, best case scenario, you know, it's going to stop your camper. You're not going to cause any damage, things like that. Um, but like I said, this is a safety feature it has. Um, make sure, too, when you are hooking up that you do keep this up off the ground. Um, a lot of times people will drag them on the concrete, things like that, and wear these through. So just like I said, make sure you keep this up off the ground. All right, now we're on the inside of the camper. First thing I want to touch base on is the monitor panel. Um, this is going to have your uh, your battery, your fresh water, your black, and your gray. So you're going to be able to monitor uh, how full your tanks are going to be. Also has your water pump and your water heater. Now, for instance, a couple things that pop up or people think that their black tanks are reading wrong. These do have sensors in them. So if you have a piece of toilet paper or something like that that may be stuck to the side of the black tank, um, it could read a little bit off. Uh, make sure that we have chemicals over at our parts department to help eat away that tissue. Uh, to help that, that issue out, but like I said, all of your tanks, battery, water pump, water heater, it's all going to be right here. Alright, right above where your monitor panel is, it's going to have where your mounting bracket is going to be located for your TV. Now right above that, um, you have your TV and satellite connection, uh, coax cable connection. So um, when you are running off antenna, uh, there is a button right here, it blends in well, it's black. You push that and that's going to actually be your antenna booster. It's going to help you boost your signal. Uh, it's going to make it stronger, so you're going to have a better possibility of getting uh, TV channels. Um, when you want it off, simply just push that same button and it'll turn it off. 
Okay, now your guys' uh, Springdale Mini does come with outside speakers. Um, if you come over here to your CD player or radio, uh, it's going to have Zone 1 and Zone 2. Now you can have them both going at the same time. Um, if you just want to have the outside speakers, uh, just have Zone 2 on. If you want the inside, just have Zone 1. Um, so you can control all of that right here. All right, now the nice thing about campers is all your breakers and fuses are all going to be at the same location um, and everything is labeled. If you do, for instance, have a fuse that goes bad, you're going to have a red light over here that's going to show that that fuse is bad. These are blade fuses um, and then all your breakers are going to be over here to the left as well. It does have a fan in here to keep it cool, so if you do hear that running, it's totally fine. Now this does come with a Norcold gas electric um, refrigerator um, to indicate whether you want it propane or electric you do it here on the left dial um, if it is on electric this is going to how you adjust the, the temperature on that now if you're working on the propane side same thing you can adjust um, how cold you want it on the right and then if you are running it off of propane the spark button is just going to you just push that and it will ignite all right now on the AC this is very easy to use power button um, you can do your mode if you want it fan or cool um, speed low medium high and then you have a, a timer if you wanted to time it at all um, and then uh, like I said it's, it's easy to use up and down um, for the temperature things like that so uh, that's very easy to use uh, and the furnace in this actually does have a thermostat it's gonna be located right here very easy to use just set your temperature make sure your furnace is on your propane is on uh, and that'll automatically ignite that this particular unit does come with a two range burner system. Um, it does have a light high uh, and then you know a lower towards the top. Um, if you do just go ahead and push it to light, uh, then you'll have to, to manually light it. But once you get that, it does stay on and you can adjust the flame um, with this dial right here. Now your camper does come with a few other uh, safety features, uh, carbon monoxide detector, smoke alarms. Uh, just like at home, make sure you are checking your batteries a few times a year to keep those work in condition. Um, they're going to be located throughout on the top of your uh, camper, uh, the ceiling, and then your carbon monoxide detector is actually usually towards the bottom. Um, so like I said, just make sure you keep an eye out on those units as well. All right, guys, well, appreciate your time, but one more thing before you do hit the road. Uh, make sure everything's tied down on the front, jacks are up, uh, you've got your chains, your breakaway, all of that secured to your truck. Um, once again, congratulations on, on purchasing a Mini from us. Um, I know you're going to have a lot of fun, a lot of memories in them. Um, if you do have any questions, anything does come up, feel free to give us a call here at Rich and Sons, 308-384-2040. Uh, and you guys have a good time. We'll talk to you soon.